Estimation, Maths Cast 10. Estimation will always be in the non-calculator paper. It will be worth three marks. We will go through two examples now. So here is our first question. We're asked to estimate the sum on the board. The top half of the fraction is 23.2 add 46.5 and the bottom half of the fraction is 1.86 times 5.13. The really important part of this question is the word they've used, estimate. The word they've used, estimate, means we must round everything to one significant figure. I'll repeat that because it's the most important part of this question. We must round every number to one significant figure. So let's start with our first number, 23.2. We're rounding it to one significant figure. I've underlined the first significant figure, which is 2. If we round this 2, the next number is a 3, so it stays the same. So 2 stays the same. The rest of the numbers become 0. So 23.2 becomes 20. The next number is 46.5. I've underlined the first significant figure the 4. The number after the 4 is a 6, so we round it up. So the 4 becomes a 5. The rest of the number becomes zeros. So 46.5 becomes 50. We do exactly the same on the bottom. The first number on the bottom is 1.86. The first significant figures are 1. The next number is 8, so we round the 1 up to 2. So that becomes 2. Now we do it for our last number, 5.13, where well, the first significant figure, the first number, is 5. The next numbers are 1, so we don't round it up, we keep it the same. So 5.13 becomes 5. So we've now got 20 plus 50 all over 2 times 5. To answer this question, we must work out the top and the bottom of the fraction separately. So on the top we have 20 plus 50 which gives us 70 and on the bottom we have 2 times 5 which gives us 10 we write it like, down like I've done in yellow here so 70 divided by 10 gives us the answer of 7 so we've now got 3 marks for this question we're going to have a go at another one now so here's our next question slightly harder this time 26.4 add 71.85 all over 0.487 so we need to estimate the answer so we know we need to round each number to one significant figure so the first number is 26.4 I've underlined the significant figure the 2 the next number is a 6 so we round the 2 up to a 3 and the rest is zeros, so 26.4 becomes 30. The next number is 71.85. I've underlined the first significant figure, the 7. The next numbers are 1, so we do not round up, we just keep it the same. So the 7 stays as 7. So 71.85 becomes 70. We have to be careful with the bottom of this fraction, the 0.487. The first significant figure here is the 4, because it's the first number which isn't 0. So the number after the 4 is an 8, so we must round up. So 0 0.4 now becomes 0 0.5, and the rest of the number becomes a 0. But we don't have to write the rest of the number as zeros when it's after the decimal. So we now have part of our answer, which is 30, add 70, all over 0 0.5. Just like the previous question, we must work out the top and the bottom of the fraction separately. So the top of the fraction, 30 plus 70, is 100. The bottom of the fraction, we already know, is 0 0.5. So 100 all divided by 0 0.5 is a little bit hard to work out. We just need to remember, if halves on the bottom, then we double the top. 
so the top becomes twice as big. So twice as big as 100 is our answer, which is 200. So I'll repeat that just to make sure you're aware. If 0 0.5 is on the bottom, then you can just make the top twice as big, and that's the answer. If you want to know why that works, please ask your teacher. Now have a go at the questions on the next slide, and as always, see your teacher if you need help.